Well, Anderson, we know that just within the past few minutes, the jury has acquitted Jose Inez Garcia Zarate of murder, first degree murder, second degree murder, and involuntary manslaughter. Now, this is the case that really brought the term sanctuary city to the forefront. You had this person who had been deported five times to Mexico. He would have been deported a sixth time, but San Francisco, a sanctuary city, does not comply with federal uh, immigration detentions and therefore let him go. Now, many thought that this would have been a slam dunk case for the prosecution. Uh, you had Kate Stanley who was walking along this, uh, this pier, this uh, well-known pier in San Francisco, July 1st, 2015. She's with her dad and a gunshot rings out. Within an hour, police had their man, but the defense did a very good job in poking holes uh, in the prosecution's theory. Remember, the prosecution said that this was an intentional murder, that you had this person point a weapon at Kane Steinle and pull the trigger, but the prosecution uh, obviously doing an, an effective job in raising reasonable doubt. For one thing we know, Anderson, is that the bullet ricocheted before striking uh, Kate Steinle. That obviously uh, helped the defense. Uh, also, the, the defendant had very little gunshot residue on his hands, which uh, some would argue uh, would show that this was unintentional. We can tell you that the defense uh, claimed, as uh, improbable as it seems, that uh, Garcia Zarate was just sitting in his chair there along the pier for about 20 minutes, looked down and, and saw an object. He said the object was, was wrapped in cloth and unwrapped it, and that is when uh, the gun went off, uh, and the jury apparently bought that story, Anderson.